Berserker ring, Patty. What do you think about that? Uh, Kappa. I think four mil. That's what I think about that. Four million. It's amazing. Nice. Doi hoi, Sears ring. I might accomplish Lord of the Rings if I get an Archer's ring from this. Patty, do you have anything to say to YouTube? Kappa. Motherfucker. Got a motherfucking warrior ring, Patty. One more ring and we will accomplish something that I've never accomplished before, and that would be Lord of the motherfucking rings. What do you think about that? Kappa. God damn it, you always know I'm recording. God. Well, sadly, guys, Lord of the Rings was not accomplished, but maybe it will happen one day. What is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to Weekly Excitement, episode number five. As always, I basically just record what I do throughout the week when I'm not doing my 30-hour on the weekends, and I pretty much show you guys all of it in one video. So yeah, that was a great Dying of the King trip. I uh, made about five mil just from that, one of my most profitable trips yet. Although I have not done the diaries to get the noted bones, and yes, I know that I should probably get that done one of these days. Uh, but I decided to do a 5 mil giveaway for my clan this day, uh, whenever this was, um, and I ended up doing a big trivia session, and I gave away 500k to 10 different people uh, for 10 different questions, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, guys, other than that, we do have a special guest in the call. Uh, Viper, do you have anything to say for the video? Oh, All right, there it is. So, yeah, guys, this has been a pretty uh, calm and steady week. You know, I did some Abyssal Demons. I did some Clue Scrolls. Of course, I don't think I've gotten a reward over 100K in the past, like, three months. But, yeah, I mean, the way this week kind of went was just me barely playing and taking a big break since I plan on doing uh, the next... 30 hours, three weeks consecutively in a row, so I really didn't want to play RS too much this week, but uh, I had fun with it. Um, recently, today, I got 87 Slayer, which you guys will see later on in the video, and that allows me to kill Cave Kraken, which I've been getting assigned crazy, like all the time I get Cave Kraken as a task, so you guys will see that in the next weekly excitement video, but um, yeah, it's been a pretty calm and steady week, like I said, just been doing a little bit of everything as usual. Um, as you can see here, I was trying to finish my last Chaos Ellie kill, and he finished me before I finished him, so... Yeah, that is like the worst task ever. I wanted to kill 10 because I thought it would be a good idea. Bad idea. Next time we're going to go with 3 on that one. Um, then I decided to give back to a good friend of mine. I love you. He's been my beyond greatest general of all time in my clan chat so i just gave him about i don't know two mil in runes he's going for 99 magic so shout out to him what a great friend he's been to me and here we are guys back at the duel arena so i did do some small staking this week as i have been for the past couple weeks now but i haven't been back at the duel arena for about three days so i don't want you guys to think i'm addicted or anything like that but um again i apologize for the aspect ratio on these clips when i record staking i I make it in the most minimal settings ever so therefore there's no lag or delay or anything like that but with that being said though all in all uh, all the clips you guys are about to see now i want to say this week i profited about 60 to 70 mil just from staking um i am taking a big break from it though because i i pretty much admit uh, i did get pretty addicting and i kept wanting to go back and that is a really bad feeling especially when uh, you have the chance at losing everything that you worked so hard for so i'm going to not go back and you guys should not be seeing any more staking clips in the next couple videos hopefully and if you do well you can go ahead and call me out on that so yeah but anyways i went to do uh, i wanted to try something new and so i tried to kill Vinanatus, and i never knew as you can see he hits pretty hard but i never did know that there was a way to kill it with verox and uh, you had to bring it in multi to hit high on it see all the times that i killed it was with range because when i tried to kill it with verox i never hit above a nine and i never understood why well recently someone with seven thousand Vinanatus kill count came into my clan after i tried to kill him because I'm an asshole and he told me the way that he kills it and I really liked it so yeah I, get, I did about 50 kills this week and I averaged about one to two mil an hour which is absolutely insane so if you guys are looking to do some easy bossing I wouldn't say the easiest but it doesn't require much check out Vinanatus and give it a shot you never know what you might get uh, and of course it drops the pet too but other than that, guys, uh, it's been a very quiet week, as I said before, and I have a 30-hour coming up this 
Saturday morning as always. I'm pretty excited for it. I might do a um, announcement the day before. I'm not too sure. It's a pretty risky 30 hour to do and I think announcing it might be a little might make it a little tougher so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing but uh, we'll see about that so now ladies and gentlemen if you've watched this far into the video I have a huge surprise for every single one of you and there's 87 Slayer by the way that's not the surprise though but it is occurred to me that this week might be the week that I get my new PC if everything goes to plan, uh, this Wednesday, a friend of mine, Patrick, uh, one of my greatest friends in real life, he is definitely hooking me up, and that is an understatement, with a PC that's worth over $600 that he has used before, and he's assured me that he streamed uh, Steam games on it with no lag whatsoever. Uh, so with that being said, I've had to put about $120 down only for this PC, and Wednesday, if everything goes to plan, it will be built and it will be played on this week and pretty much ready to stream this weekend. That's best case scenario. Worst case scenario, it might get postponed, but guys, it won't be postponed for more than a week. So in other words, I've made a huge dent on YouTube. I've made things possible that I never thought would ever become true or even, even a dream. It was just so unrealistic, all the progress and all the love that you guys have shown me. And now it's time to turn to Twitch. And of course, I'll always be on YouTube. And of course, the videos are going to stay the way they are, if not get better over time. But now I get to put all of my energy on Twitch. And that's something that I've never done before. So the odds of me uh, live streaming this week are very high I want you guys to know but if I don't it won't be the end of the world just give me one more week so I can prepare everything there's a lot that I need to do I mean if you know anything about twitch you guys know it's a lot more than just live streaming a game you have to add in uh, notifications you have to add in you know the twitch icons all that shit so there's so much more to it than just you know turning on the stream but at least if I'm able to do that this weekend for my 30 hours you guys will be the first to know on YouTube, so I want you guys to know that. So I'm very excited, um, and this week hasn't been that great, and you know, all in all, it's been a pretty good week, but I did cut some ties to some people that meant a lot to me on game, and um, all I have to say about that, and if these people are watching the video, um, is that when you get too attached to something, you put a lot of at risk, emotionally and pretty much you bet on everything with this one person or whatever it may have be and sometimes doing the worst thing and the hardest thing is actually doing the best thing in the long run so I guess I'm sorry to those who uh, who I let down this week but on the up on the other hand um, there is a lot to come guys and I'm very optimistic about it all so with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time mr. no sleep out